Um, this is the first time I've actually found 3D printing useful. I bought an old keyboard, a used one, and um, I had to take the keys off and I tried to use my fingers to get the keys off but they didn't come off <laughs> the keys. So I thought like maybe somebody has made on Thingiverse something to pull this off and yeah, somebody did. Only thing that this it's um I kinda messed up the print because I didn't have it I didn't have the printer calibrated correctly. But other than that, this was actually really useful. I took off all the keys and uh, I washed them with the uh, 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 wash washing up liquid, uh, the, the same thing you use to wash the dishes. Um, then I I put them on this. Uh, I had them actually for one day in the in the soapy liquid, and then uh, now I'm waiting them to dry, and I'm gonna put them back on, hopefully in the correct order. <laughs> and uh, uh, let's see if uh, this is actually a good deal. I I paid uh, ten euros for this keyboard. And uh, this is a Razer, uh, I think, Black Widow Chroma, so with the RGB lights. And uh, I guess that was a pretty good deal if it's like 10 bucks. Obviously, I spent time on, you know, cleaning, cleaning it up and uh, doing like a lot of stuff, but still, it's kind of uh, fun. This is to show what it looks like assembled. The keyboard is pretty great, actually for the price I paid uh, and it's uh, it has uh, green switches and um, I've been using it for like one day it's it's great for like playing games and stuff um, yeah pretty satisfied with the result I had to mount this uh, case fan to my PC uh, I found two extra ones and um, I didn't have any screws so I printed them <laughs> And actually, it's quite like it's quite sturdy. Like if if I, if I pull this, it doesn't come off. So what I did was I printed uh, this. I don't know how well you can see it. And then uh, matching size, this. I just put them together, and uh, they hold up nicely. So I'm gonna do another one for the fan below this one. And uh, yeah. Um, I just noticed here's another thing I printed. This is a Timo from League, and uh, it's kind of like um, I know my camera is really bad. You can't really see the detail, but it messed up the part. Uh, like this, this part is like messed up a bit, but otherwise it's quite okay. Uh, then I also printed uh, this one which is like a funnel uh, I tried to use this for soap but <laughs> this is <laughs> the hole is too small so it takes ages for the soap to go through so I mean I should probably have printed a bigger one or, or like a like a one with a bigger hole or something but it kind of looks cool though like uh, it looks this vortex kind of I don't know looks irreg irregular kind of so yeah here here's the final result of uh, both of them assembled and they seem to be fine um, yeah it, it turned out pretty great one thing I find really weird about the cases like this is like this is completely sealed and there's like holes in here but like I just put two fans in here and uh, now it's like it's only getting air from here and I don't feel it like it's taking a lot. If this was like mesh or something this would be much better. But yeah. The biggest the biggest problem I have with this uh printer right now is uh I have to print one item at a time. I try to do like uh, uh these like uh, four at a time. But what happened was the I think the print bed is still a bit unle unleveled. It's not ca calibrated correctly. So at some point of the printing, one of the p like the the uh, the uh, I guess the hot uh, head it hits one of the pieces and it starts dragging it around and it it hits all of the other pieces as well and it just becomes a mess. 
So I still have to figure that one out, but other than that, it's been quite good. If I only print one piece, then it's very good.